Guys, I would just like to say if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Let's get in the video. So, I'm going to go 4 2 3 1 because it's just the best for us. Or 4 3 3, I'm not too sure, but I'm leaning towards a 4 2 3 1 because the one player that we have to get in is a must win game, basically. There's no way about it. The, this game has to be won for us to even have a chance. We draw this game. That's it. Europa League over. So, in goal, I'm going with Martinez. As we know, Leno's injured. But I think Martinez will do fine. It's just about that defence. At left back, Tierney. Actually, no. Martinez in goal. At left back, Saka. The reason I say Saka, because our defence is... Like, our centre-backs are so crap that I feel like Tierney, because he plays left centre-back for Scotland due to Andrew Robertson playing at left-back, I think we should play Tierney at left centre-back. Partnering Tierney, I think we go with Mus... No, Mustafi's injured. I think we've got Mustafi. I'm not sure if he's injured or not. I think we've got Mustafi. So, Martinez... Actually, I'd go with holding. So I'd go Martinez, Saka on the left, Tierney holding, and then Bellerin on the right. Because he's the only next best player we've got for that right back spot. The two CDMs, one of them I'd go with Daniel Ceballos. And the other one, I'd actually bring Terreira in this game. I'm not sure if he's fully fit, but I'd bring him back in this game. Then... Cam, I'd bring back Ozil. Willock and everyone that's played there, even Ceballos has been put in for creative work. Like Ceballos is great for creativity as well as a bit of defensive work as we've seen at Real Madrid when he was given the opportunity and his Real Betis days, he can defend and attack. So that's needed, but I'd play him next to Torreira a bit deeper. That allows Ozil to do all the creative work. And I feel like we should just use Ozil. So that leaves the attack. On the left, I'd stick with Martinelli. Because yes, Aubameyang's been there, but Martinelli has played on the left before for Arsenal. And he's done really well for us. So I'd go with Martinelli on the left. If he is injured, I've heard rumours that he may be injured. If he is injured, then I'd go with Aubameyang. But Martinelli, then Aubameyang at striker. And Pepe on the right. So I'd run through my team one more time. Martinez in goal. Saka been doing amazing for us at left back, so I'd keep him in. Bellerin, no one else really played there. Tierney and Holding because well, Tierney's been alright when he's played, so might as well just put him there to help us defensively. Torreira and Danny Ceballos with Ozil in front of them. I'd have Danny Ceballos as a box-to-box -box midfielder, Torreira as our CDM, Ozil as a cam as our creator, Martinelli on the left, Pepe on the right, Bamiang at striker because if Bamiang in the box, he'd be, well, he'll get ball on target, he'll take shots like Lacazette and Eddie Nketiah have been doing, but they haven't been getting the ball much on target or hitting the back of the net. I think Bamiang will provide that and he'll be lethal in that box. Martinelli. He can score goals, he's hungry, he wants it. And he said he wants to play on the left wing more so than striker. So play him on the left. And he's got around 10 goals this season anyway. And Pepe, we've seen what he's been doing over the last couple of weeks. Really started picking up form under Arteta, getting into space. It's just that the players don't release him. Him and Aubameyang, they practice in training that you do quick one-two with Aubameyang or Pepe. And then you slip them in behind and they run off and go score. But it seems like on match days we don't see that happening. So hopefully we see that happen against Southampton tomorrow. That's my team. And if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. And peace.